it is very important that you keep your WordPress up to date for security reasons. That also includes your plugins and themes. So it is quite unnatural to downgrade. However, you might run into circumstances that would require you to revert to the previous version of WordPress. Such reasons could be either you are using an old version of PHP, WordPress recent update might have included a significant change that wasn't compatible with your theme or plugin, you are using an abandoned or infrequently updated theme or plugin. If either of the reasons is why you would want to downgrade your WordPress website, then it is most likely you are not able to access your admin dashboard. But if you are able to access it, there are some things you need to do before downgrading. Before starting anything, <clears throat> make sure you back up your site, or better still, Copy your site to a staging environment if it is possible and perform all your troubleshooting there so as not to further disrupt any functionality on your live website. Because using manual method, it is easy to make mistakes with a catastrophic result. So before you start anything, like I mentioned earlier, you need to back up your website. So if you have access to your uh, WordPress admin dashboard, you can use any of the backup plugins to back up your website. However, if you do not have access to your WordPress admin dashboard, you can easily do perform a, a, a brief backup brief kind of backup on your website by first of all just creating a folder let's say title the folder bk then once that is done you you select all your all your files and then you copy it you copy them to your 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 folder this backup folder so uh once that is done once all the files have been copied to this particular place then you now go to your um your php my admin and then make sure you download your database backup to your uh, system once you've done that you've you've automatically done a sharp and a brief backup of your website so that if anything goes wrong you can easily revert and then start all, all over again so once you've done that the next and most important thing you need to do is if you still have access if you have access to your wordpress admin dashboard you need to go to your plugins and make sure you deactivate all the plugins you have installed but in a situation whereby you do not have access to your um, WordPress admin dashboard, you can easily deactivate all your plugins. So, so first of all, let's deactivate all our plugins. Now, you can, by applying this, doing the bulk select and applying this, you, you automatically deactivate all the plugins that have been installed. Now, if you cannot access your WordPress admin dashboard to perform this easy task, what you do now is you go to your uh, WP content on your cPanel. Now, in your cPanel, you come down to where there is plugin this plugin folder, all you just need to do is to rename the folder to, let's say, uh, deactivate. Uh, now, once you've done this, automatically deactivate all the plugin on your WordPress website. So now, after you've done that, the next thing you're going to do is you need to activate the um, the WordPress default team, any of the WordPress default team. So to do that, you just go to your team. If you can access your WordPress admin dashboard, you just go to your, your appearance teams. And then once that loads up for you, you activate any of the WordPress uh, default teams, which uh, could be uh, the 2021 team. So you can just activate the 2021 team and you're done. But in a situation whereby you cannot access your uh, admin dashboard, you just go to your cPanel. On your cPanel, you go to the teams. So you remember the last team you activated before uh, the situation started or before you you saw the need to downgrade to previous wordpress version you just go to that particular team and on that team you rename the team you rename the team to something else let's say deactivate so once you rename the team automatically wordpress cannot can no longer access this particular team so it automatically reverts to the um, to one of the default teams which could be 2021 team or 2023 team as the case may be whichever you have in your wordpress site so once that is done now, the next thing we're going to do here is that we're going to go to the WordPress site to download the WordPress version we want to uh, revert to. So this is the WordPress website. These are all the various releases WordPress have. This is the latest release, WordPress version 6.2. So now, whatever the version you want to revert to, you can just easily come here and then you, you select the version and then you download. Let's say we want to download uh, downgrade to version 5.8. So we select version 5.8 and then we, we can see all the various versions under the branch 5.8 so you can just select either of them and then you download that so i'm going to select this let's say version 5.86 and then you download the zip file so by clicking on that it automatically starts downloading for you all right so uh, the download is complete so as you are aware downgrading of wordpress manually means we are overwriting or replacing the new WordPress version installed on our server with the older WordPress version. So bear in mind that we're going to upload the version we just downloaded and extract it right in our public HTML on our cPanel 
or the actual domain we want to downgrade the WordPress version to. The next thing we're going to do is let's upload this downloaded uh, version to our cPanel. So we we'll head back, we'll head back to our public HTML folder, this folder, and then we we'll just click on the upload. And then we upload this WordPress version with down with the downgraded WordPress version we've downloaded. So now we we'll allow for this to upload. As soon as this is done uploading, if you have a good internet, this takes less than a couple of just takes less than a minute. So uh, I'm going to pause this video and then come back as soon as the upload is completed. All right, the upload is completed, so we're just going to click here to go back to our public HTML folder. Uh, yeah, this is the upload. We, the, the downgraded version we've uploaded. So what we'll do is we're going to click on it and then we we'll extract it here. So now it's going to extract into a folder called WordPress folder. So once that once the extraction is done, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to clear, delete some folder and and a file. All right. Now the extract is completed. Now you can see it has created this folder called the WordPress folder. So the next thing we're going to do here is that we're going to select certain files on our public HTML of our current WordPress version, and then we're going to delete. First of all, oh, we're going to delete this. Let's delete it because we don't need it anymore. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, let's uh, select all, and then let's you click on the control button and on select some of the folder like this folder which contains our backup, this folder which contains the uh, the, the version we just downloaded, then this admin folder, we're going to delete this admin folder, then this WP content, we're going to leave this content, this this folder because it contains, this is where all our media files can be found, so we don't need to delete this particular one. So the next, we're going to uh, leave this uh, WP include folder and then we're going to delete it as well. So we're going to come down, we're going to scroll down as well and then this WP config dot php file we're going to leave that that folder that file as well the reason for that is that this file or uh, this particular file contains vital information for our uh, wordpress installation such as the, the the database connection and it enables us to connect uh, to wordpress to connect to our database so we're going to leave this particular uh, file and that is pretty much it so the next thing we're going to do now is to delete all this so i'm, I'm just keeping uh, checking this particular box so that it keeps trash and permanently delete get permanently deleted from our server but if you don't want you can leave it and then you find it on the view trash and restore it back if you want so now that i've selected that and done that action right so if you refresh here now you see that these are the only things we have here so now we'll go down to this wordpress we just extracted and in it now we're going to select all except the folders we didn't delete on our uh, actual installation so we're going to uncheck those folders within this folder and file within delete this wp content which we didn't delete and then we're going to uncheck the uh, wp config file so for now since it's a fresh installation it doesn't have the wp config file so we're just going to uh unselect this particular one this is the sample file which gets automatically create generates uh, the wp config file when you're installing a fresh wordpress on your website so we're going to uncheck that we don't need it so the next thing we're going to do is going to move this to our public html folder so now we've done that you can refresh it now you can see that everything looks fine here so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this folder here because we don't need it anymore yeah so now everything is concluded everything is done everything is not done the, the replacing of uh, our current installation with the downgraded version has been done successfully. The next thing we're going to do is, if you are already able to access your um, your WordPress admin dashboard, all you just need to do is to uh, refresh it or you just access your WordPress admin dashboard, open the, the your, your URL and then once you open your URL, you're going to get a notification to update your admin dashboard if everything was done correctly. You're going to get a notification to update your sorry your distant database so now that is it this is it so what we'll do now is that we're just going to click on this update wordpress database and the database update has been completed so you now click on continue and it gets logged it logs you in automatically and voila we have successfully downgraded our wordpress version manually you can see now we're getting this notification that uh wordpress version 6.2 is available please update so now when you go to your updates down here you're going to see that uh see the version of the wordpress we we have installed which is the the wordpress version 5.86 we're going to see here you can see the current wordpress version is wordpress version 5.86 so once you're done you can either go back and update you can update to the current the the, the 
updated version of WordPress by clicking on this button now. Start uh, starting your update. Now, once we've done downgrading, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back. Now we can access our uh, uh, admin dashboard. But remember, when we couldn't access our admin dashboard, we had to we had to do some renaming here. So we just go back, we head back, and then we like this plugin. We're just going to rename it back to the original form by deleting this plug, this deactivate here, and then we we'll rename it and we'll go back to our teams and then we we'll do the same for the Astra team. We rename it to the default to the actual team name and uh, then once that is done once once that is done we now head back we now head back to our wordpress we head back to our wordpress and go to the uh, plugin the installed plugin and then we activate all the plugins manually by doing the bug action and then activating them So once this is once this is done, we'll go back to our team. We'll go back. You see, you are, you are, you are getting this notification. What Elementor isn't running because WordPress is outdated. That means this Elementor plugin isn't compatible with the WordPress uh, version we currently have. So it, it's asking us to update to at least version 5.9. So that is not a problem. You can deactivate it, or uh, depending where you want to upgrade or whatever. Then we we'll go now to our appearance. Uh, the appearance will now activate this. We'll now activate the Astra team. Activate the team or whatever team you already have installed. You can activate it back and then everything has been done. You are successfully downgraded to the previous WordPress installation manually. Okay, so now that we are comfortable with how to manually downgrade our WordPress version now i'm going to show you a simpler way to do so with the use of a plugin but in a situation whereby you let's say you, you recently updated your wordpress installation and then the recent wordpress update contains a significant um changes that wasn't compatible with either your team or your plugin and then your site is loading to an error and you cannot access your admin dashboard so what you do is when you go to your c panel now on your c panel you go to uh the wp content just like we did when we were doing the manual installation you just first of all you're going to uh rename this rename the plugin folder so it automatically de deactivates all the plugins you've installed and then you go back to your admin dashboard and see if you can access your admin dashboard so in a situation where you can access your admin dashboard you know that the problem is coming from your plugins so now you you know if that is the case you now come back to your plugin you rename it rename it back you rename this back and then you now head inside the plugin and each of the various plugins you have installed, you're just going to rename the rename until you find a particular plugin that isn't compatible with your WordPress installation. So once you've done that, and then you rename that particular plugin, let's say Elementor is a problem, we just rename Elementor. We now we just rename Elementor, and then we'll now head back to our admin dashboard, and once we refresh, we are able to access our admin dashboard. That is a good part. So now we now know that the problem is coming from Elementor plugin, and we really need Elementor in order to make our website load complete. This is just for instance, Elementor is working perfectly with all uh, uh, versions, the updated version of, of WordPress, so don't get me twisted. So now, we'll go down to our plugin, we'll go to, sorry, we'll go under the plugin, we'll go to add new plugin, and then we're going to add a new plugin that, that is going to assist us in doing the downgrade successfully without any hassle, and that plugin is called Call Rollback. This is the plugin in particular, so we're going to install this plugin. And then we're going to activate the plugin. Good. Now that we've activated the plugin, the next thing we're going to do is we're now going to head on to our uh, we'll go to our tools. Sorry, we we'll head on to our tools right here, and then you scroll down to rollback call. And then now you can see what the plugin is telling you, giving you a warning that downgrading WordPress call may leave your website in an unstable state. However, you know what. This is the problem and then you know that this can solve your problem for you so what we'll do is we just come to the core releases you see the various core releases this uh i think our current installation is this which is a 5.86 so what we'll do is we're going to downgrade it down to let's say 5.78 and then once you click on this and then you click on rollback so now you can see this is what it's telling you, you can update to the, the version 6.2 or you can just reinstall this version 5.78 so we're going to click on reinstall version 5.78 so you see it's now downloading it doing up everything everything and voila you're now you have successfully reverted your wordpress version to the 
uh, older version, which is the 5.78, as you can see. It's as simple as that. So that is pretty much it about this tutorial video. If you like the video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified first when next we'll drop a new content. See you on our next video. Remember, most importantly, drop your comment if you have any questions or problem and I will be there to help you. See you. Bye.